If you believe drugs don't do anything good for us, do me this favor, will you? Go home tonight, take all your albums and tapes, okay, and burn them. Because you know what? The musicians who made all that great music are real fucking high on drugs. Great music, they were high. Drugs had a positive effect. Shall I walk you through it again? My first engineer gig, uh, I've worked with like Beyonce and General Hudson, uh, Aretha Franklin, Mary J. Blige, um, these guys Tokyo Hotel, Jonathan Davis from Korn, um, kind of all over the place, a lot of pop artists, uh, a lot of indie artists too. So drugs, um, yeah, not for everybody, but for those who it is for, uh, probably one of the uh, more uh, eye-opening, uh, door-opening experiences, you know, uh, creatively speaking for sure. Um, otherwise too, you know, spiritually, some people consider that an avenue for spiritual growth. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it'd be great, uh, but it's, you know, a double-edged sword. It's the yin and yang of it, you know, it could be horrible, but it can also be amazing. I was working with a, uh, a singer of a band, a pretty well-known rock band, um, and his wife came into the studio, wanted to hang out during the session. Um, so him and I were working, music's up really loud, we're just listening back, um, and a couple of minutes passed by, and we turned around and realized that she had been back there indulging herself, um, but she was doing whippets, which is uh, nitrous oxide canisters through a whipped cream container. And in the two or three minutes we were sitting there listening to the song, she had done like a gang of whippets, like 20 whippets. She was surrounded by whippet containers and just out of it. So um, I found it kind of amusing, uh, but this guy did not, and him and his wife proceeded to have a huge blow up and ended the session right then and there. Um, so yeah, in that case, it uh, didn't turn out so well. Drugs influenced me, um, starting with uh, coffee, the first drug, uh, marijuana, probably you know first creative. Um, where I really felt like it, it maybe influenced and guided the creative, uh, creativity or the creative process. I would consider that an influence on me. A lot of artists are influenced by alcohol as well. Uh, so yeah, again, drugs in general. Um, but yeah, for me specifically, probably marijuana. Um, I like sativas, I guess, for the most part. Um, uh, yeah. yeah, I like, you know, good, good flour, flavorful, uh, fruity strains too. First tried it when I was probably about 16, I think. Um, and I remember actually the first time I tried it, a uh, buddy of mine I knew had mentioned he, he had it, and uh, I ended up trying it by myself, and I tried to roll a joint in typing paper. <laughs> uh, munchies for me, I'm definitely a sucker for gummy bears, gummy candy, any kind of gummy gummy stuff. Um, yeah. I guess I would say is one of the aspects of it, especially with marijuana, is the social aspect to it. So when just the fact that you sit in there sharing an experience together, sometimes that facilitate the pro facilitates the process um, when you have creative people. You know, a lot of times in, 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 you know, in audio and, and, uh, and songwriting, you, know, you work with people you've never met before. And that day you're there being creative together, you know, spontaneously. Um, so sometimes that brings people together, you know. Very uh, eye-opening you know, experience for sure. You know, I, I see it sort of as like, there's just like a lens on a camera, you know, you, have, you put on different lenses, you know, in, in this experience that we call consciousness or whatever. Um, so, you know, just putting on different lenses, you know, and it's, it's going to let you see things differently, you know, wider view, narrower view, whatever. Um, but yeah, it just opens, opens windows, opens doors. Recording studios, um, definitely marijuana for sure, like pretty much every session. Um, there's definitely, you know, for sure there's people who, do, who don't partake, uh, but for the most part, if I have a session, someone in the room is. Um, alcohol, for sure. I commend it. Um, I just think it's such an individual experience that, um, if it's something that works for you, it's gonna work for you creatively, you know, really. Um, I don't really know too many people who, who do take drugs recreationally or not, um, that it doesn't help them, and so, or, you know, at least, uh, facilitate the process, I guess, you know, or, or lead them down a different path they may not have expected.